enviar tropas adicionales justo ahora. Ataquen y destruyan al enemigo. Santísima Muerte is my rock. My fortress, my deliverer. Wrap your wings around me. Protect me from the storm and bring your wrath upon my enemies. We've seen your wrath, Santera, and honestly, we're not impressed. I have done nothing wrong. Santa Muerte is my light and my way. Worshipping her is not against the law. No, but recruiting people into a criminal organization sure as fuck is. Judgment is reserved for God and Santissima Muerte. Maybe in the next life, but not here. You want to earn some absolution? What do you know about Sueño? I am no Judas. No te equivoques. I will never betray Brother Sueño. You know, people like you aren't treated very nicely in prison. Other inmates tend to make their life hell. I have the faith to survive in hell. Hmm. I look forward to testing that faith. Because you've never seen my hell. Well, last time Tara's a barrel of laughs. I'm gonna make her my wingman next time I go bar hop. The great writer Balzac once said, to have a family is to become hostage to fortune. I told El Yayo we had something in common. We're both too old to start over. Me to start a new organization. You to start a new family. I should have known. CIA has brought in our own Sicarios. Simon Bolivar said the United States was destined to plague the Americas with misery. Now that misery is upon my house. He says Sueño has his family. You could have led with that. These four gunfighters are your best last hope at saving your family. So are you gonna play ball, or are you gonna bury more kin? Save my family. Then I decide if I will talk. Rodolfo. Mi Rosita, estás bien? Sí, mi vida. Papa, what trouble have you gotten us into now, old man? I just got you out of trouble, kid. Don't expect us to believe that. Ustedes, blanquiñosos yankees, only bring problems to Bolivia. I may be too young to have marched with the Cocaleros in 96, but I have seen the scars on the protesters who were beaten. I'll eat a dick. I'm sick of this anti-American bullshit. We're not your enemy, kid. But you're not our friend either. Tranquilo, mijo. I have made deals with many devils in my time, and it has always been to protect my family, to ensure that my people, los Cocaleros, survive. Now I have made my deal with you, Agent Bowman. I'm sure to regret it later, but for now, it will allow us to see another day. You cannot feed the hungry without food. You cannot heal the sick without medicine. And you cannot satisfy demand without a product. With the cocaine production in shambles, our market share was shrinking more and more every day. We increased prices, but it was a temporary solution. We would have to import from Peru and Colombia, invest heavier in meth and MDMA, a very costly and time-consuming endeavor. It would take years to rebuild. I had no choice. If workers were left unpaid for too long, there was no telling what they would resort to. But the biggest loser in all this was the people of Bolivia. Out of work with no means to support their families. 
All they could do was wait. Wait and see who was next to take possession of the coca fields. Right where the cartel prepares its drug mules. Bowman's gonna want to... Your average cat, the four-legged variety, has nine lives. El Gato has had a lot more than that. He's been shot, stabbed, garroted, blown up, burned, thrown off a building, run over by a car, half drowned. But he always comes back. He carries a locket with his father's ashes in it around his neck. Snorts it when he needs strength. Says it's better than coke. It's the real power that comes from death. A packaging manager in Romanzo province, he's been working for Santa Blanca since he was 16. His father was the plastic surgeon to the stars, movie stars, and star narcos. But then, his father had a big narco boss on the table and lost him. They both knew what that meant. A long death by torture. Elgato loved his father. So he decided not to let that happen. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm just a chemist. It's okay. I get it. The cartel told you that if you were ever arrested, just tell the cops you're an employee of the factory, you work on energy drinks, and sooner or later someone will show up to bail you out. Am I right? Let me clarify the situation for you. We're not the cops. No one is coming to bail you out. You have exactly two choices. Either start giving up the formula, or start giving up your fingers. You're a smart guy. What'll it be? Here's a lesson in cocaineonomics. The biggest mistake most people make is focusing solely on the product. Claro, you need something to sell, but that's not where you make the money. One kilo of coca leaves costs about $1.50. It takes 400 kilos of coca leaves to make one kilo of cocaine. Even when turned into cocaine base, a kilo is only worth 1200 in Bolivia. However, every time you cross a border, the value increases. Once we reach Colombia, it's already 2200 We hit southern Mexico, 12000 Cross the border into Texas, 20000 New York City, our $1,200 investment is now worth 35000 Paris, London, 68 to 74000 It's a pipeline that carries the product to the people that need it. Sustenance for the thirsty. Once in place, the pipeline feeds itself. Workers, vehicles, wages, bribes. But when there's a clog in the pipe... Uh, they took out another shipment. We lost seven tons last week. Four planes the week before? The water backs up. There's too much surplus. We can't keep it secure. My men are selling to each other. We can't pay people if they're not moving product. They're kidnapping civilians for ransom money. Too much water. We have to take Valeria and go. He'll kill us before we leave the country. Then what's the answer? When I find it, I'll let you know. And you drown. Every week, more than six tons of white powder moves through Mojocoyo. It's a transit point, where shipments are kept secure, awaiting export to Brazil, the US, and Europe. Antonio is the buchon out here, the boss. His job is to keep all that coke safe. Thing is, being surrounded by cocaine all day is a really stressful job, like being the fat kid in charge of the sugar factory. And we all know what happens when you eat too much sugar. Your brain rots. You stop talking on phones. You stop trusting your own people. You stop going home to your wife. You even stop telling anyone when the shipments are coming in, until the moment they arrive. When it comes to coke transports, Antonio is a vault. And I want to crack that motherfucker open. Antonio, it's such a pleasure. <laughs> Vete a la verga, bitch. Stop flirting, you little slut. 
The fuck is this? Christmas. You didn't hear the news? <laughs> news about what? Your death. Apparently, you OD'd. You want me to... I want to see your brain on drugs, Pendejo. One way or another. Did I tell you to stop? Keep going. She said keep going. I... I can't. My heart feels like it's gonna explode. Please. That's the point. Now clean your plate. Please. You want Nidia Flores, right? She's in Jalisco. Jalisco, Mexico. Santa Blanca is investing in meth. I don't know how long she's there, really. The first step to recovery is admitting you have a problem. And you, my friend, have got a big fucking problem. <laughs>